Another beauty to show you right now. Zoo Knoxville is home to many different animal species, big, small, creepy crawlers, cuddle bugs. They have them all. Today, India Carpenter, a zookeeper at Zoo Knoxville, is with me along with, look, we have one of the zoo's <laughs> ambassador animals, Pedsy, a porcupine. Hello, Pedsy. Can yeah. I pet you? Yeah, so Pedsy Hello. is a Cape porcupine, which is a species found in the southern Cape of Africa, and okay. they're actually the largest porcupine species in the world. There's 27 different species, and she is wow. the largest one. And they're also the largest rodent in all of Africa. Oh, my goodness, and she's so well-behaved. She's yeah. been trained. She's yes. one of the ambassadors, like we said. Yep, she's an ambassador animal. She was actually born down at Naples Zoo, oh and she came to us when she was about nine months old, so she's oh. very accustomed to people. She was hand-raised nice. down in Naples. Yeah, she likes to lick when she gets pets and head scratches, but okay. so she's been raised from a very young age to be comfortable around people just so she can be a great ambassador for her species. She's wonderful. She's been so sweet. She's been with us all afternoon since we started at four o'clock and has behaved so well. We see her quills and let's talk about some fun facts about these and some myths yeah. as well. She doesn't throw her quills, obviously. Nope. So, and people think that. Yeah, a lot of people think that. That is a very common Hi. myth. No porcupine can shoot their quills. Um, they just, well, for Pedsy, they, she just raises them over her head and she charges backwards at whatever is threatening her. So Hi. quills are just modified hair. So just like you lose hair mm -hmm. and your hair falls out every day, she loses some quills, which is what, most likely where that myth comes from. Oh, interesting. And so this hair up here, this is just coarse, thick hair, and then all her it's quills. It's different than the quills. Yep, yeah. so all of this is her quills back here. That's the sharp, dangerous end. Mm -hmm. uh, and she can actually kill a lion with those quills. What? Yeah, so it's just like a, you know, a really big, sharp, thick kind of knife, and she gets going at a speed backwards, and if a lion were trying to eat her and she raised them up over their head, she can just... Yeah, we'll kill a lion. We love you. You're a good girl. <laughs> you are such a good girl. <laughs> oh, wow. This is so fascinating. We love to have you guys on. Yeah, we we love appreciate to be here and it. show off these animals. Yes. Tell us really quickly about yeah. your job. You, you knew you wanted to do this from when you were this tall. Yeah, I did. I knew I always wanted to work with animals, and for some reason, I'd never really thought about zookeeping as a job until I got to college and I studied <laughs> animal behavior, uh, and then I ended up here, so... You're working for a great place? Yeah, I am. I love it there, and I love working with our ambassador animals and getting to show them off and educate the public about them. Uh, Pedsy lives off exhibit at the zoo, but she does come out and walks on the pathway. You can see she's you know, got her harness and leash on, so especially in the summers, about every other day she'll be out on the pathway walking around. The leash is hilarious. I don't know why yeah. that cracked me up. It's just like a little belt, so again, it where is. it's not sharp up here, you can just kind of cinch it behind her shoulders and it doesn't bother her at all. Guide her along. All right, Pedsy, thank you for being with us. Yeah, thank India, you. Thank you, and we appreciate everything. Yeah. Zoo Knoxville does. You're Thank the you. best.